Is that light I see up ahead? to be standing inside a giant bubble. By the twelve. I think we're on the seabed. Well, well. I thought I heard familiar voices. Ban, what are you doing here? Hmm, what a curious question. I live here. Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. We thank you for your hospitality, honored Elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something? From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We, Kojin, covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, how are we to seek these treasures above if we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are? Wiser to join with them. So resolved the Red Kojin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Galians are blind to the Divine. Nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. To honor the divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. Aye, aye. 
Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans, and judgment for the doings of the red falls unjustly upon the blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. On that point we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Well said, Elder. In great crises is great profit to be had. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sorobon. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words. 
and let all else wash away. Listen to my words and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Hmm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill-suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. Incredible. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. take us all the way to the deepest depths of the sea. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kasetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. that treasure in no time come on
I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. This scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss. Bottomless. Insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oath go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me, how did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? That you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. And then what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail? You had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death. That he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody, stupid... <laughs> oh. When I get back to Eorzea... I'm going to find that little shite, and I'm going to make her pay. Yeah. 
thieves! Thieves! Come to steal our most precious treasures! You will pay for this sacrilege! That's the spirit! Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! made our soul. Hark! A great kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great kami, we beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations, your faithful Kojin. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, daughter of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen, and for their loyalty we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills, just what we need. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. Susano, and in revelry do we rejoice. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? And a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Lise, help me clear a path. Lead them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Make way! Make way! Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man! The dish will be served, whether you will it or no! <laughs>
win!
Nary a peep from the shellbacks, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing, but if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said for a temperate man. Comrades, we made a bargain with the Aeorzeans, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord here, be it with your help or with your heads. Come, you will pay for the ah! Confederacy. They've come to save us. And this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. 
every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Oh! Oh! The Kami are not finished with you yet. To them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. She's counting on us. Suzolo is slain! Slain by the shellless one! Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the Devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Hear me, Kojin of the Red! We have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters! No more blood need be shed this day, I pray you let us go in peace! You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. Let you take all the glory, can I?
my Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gazetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Corgian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Nor you. Our fates are intertwined now. If you fall, so do we. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings. And may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? <laughs> <laughs>